Hey y'all, this is Brandy from Southern Crafts DIY, and I want to say hey to all my returning viewers, and a big welcome to any new viewers, because y'all really, really do help my channel to grow, and I appreciate y'all tuning in to see what I craft next. So, before we get started, I just want to remind you, if you follow me on social media, which the links are down below, you'll have seen a list of everything needed for today's project. Now, the first step I'm going to do, like always, is just let y'all know exactly what you're going to need for this project. And just a shout out, my husband's the one who actually gave me the idea for this, and I am super sorry, ugh, I'm sorry, I'm super excited to do it today. Alright y'all, let's get started. Alright, so the first thing you're going to need is a piece of... of Square a little piece of wood. It doesn't need to be big. You can get this, and I think, I think it's a four pack at Dollar Tree for dollar twenty-five. This is going to just be something needed to help. It's the base. I'm sorry, I can't think. But you don't need anything huge. Small works good. So we need that, and we're also going to need some green paint. I'm going to be attempting to use Grotto by Way uh, Folk Art Home Decor chalk paint. So this is the color I picked. I hope I like how it comes out. Because I see something in my head and it doesn't always mean it's going to work out right well. So you're going to need some googly eyes. You can pick those up at Dollar Tree also. They have different sizes. So you're going to need some pumpkins. I got these from, I believe it was Hobby Lobby, but it could have been Michael's. They were on sale. I paid 84 cents for this bag. Now, if you don't, you can go get from Dollar Tree. This is slightly bigger, but it would still work. So you can pick and choose. Like I said, I got these from another store after fall last year. And then you're going to need a little mini pumpkin. If you do the one from Dollar Tree, you'll need slightly bigger because it's too small. Or you just have a fat thing. But you're going to need a little mini pumpkin. I chose white because I thought it would go best with what I'm doing. Then you're going to need some burlap leaves. I picked brown and red. You're going to need, sorry, it's stuck, a skewer. A pair of scissors and some glue. I'm going to use hot glue. And then you'll need a paintbrush, of course, to paint. So that is all that is needed for this project. So let's jump in, right in and get started. Alright y'all, so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to paint my wood. So I just want to get it all nice and green. This is going to be like I envision the ground outside. You don't want to do green, you probably do brown or black. Whatever you feel like doing. So now I'm gonna go ahead and tell you what we're making. We're gonna make a turkey. It's a fun little fall project we can do. And like I said, my husband gave me this idea and I am super excited to actually do it. So Let's get to it. So I'm not hating the color. I wasn't sure if this was what color I wanted to use, but I'm happy with it. So I'm going to completely paint the whole thing, sides, back, everything, that's how I always do it and I'm always going to do it. So. So as soon as it dries, I'm going to finish painting it. 
right, well, that's dry. We're going to move on to the next step. And we're going to take the big pumpkin and the little pumpkin. And we're going to put it on here. And this is going to be the neck, the stem of the big pumpkin. And the little pumpkin stem is going to be the beak. Kind of looks like a duck right now. And then we're going to take our skewer and we're going to just measure a little. And then we're going to cut it because we don't need much. And then we're going to put it in there. So, just going to make sure I make a big enough hole. I'm doing this to make sure that it stays on there and then we're going to put the skewer into the bigger pumpkin maybe never done this before so hold on I'm going to cut a little bit more off because it's not really going in too far. Alright, so then we're going to put this back on there. And that's what it's going to look like so far. And like I said, we are going to glue it on there to help hold it even more. But I'm just doing those steps right now. So let me get the glue and we'll glue it. Alright, so while we're waiting for the hot glue gun to heat up, we're going to take the leaves, and we don't need this. Apparently it comes right off. I wasn't trying to pull it off. At least it came right off that one. And because we don't need it, I'm going to go ahead and cut it. I know I didn't mention wire cutters, but I should have opened it. You didn't need wire cutters. Alright, so this is going to be the tail, and I want to make it look a little bit more tail-like. So I'm going to trim up some of the leaves. More circle like. So. Each turkey's gonna look its own certain way, so it's not a huge deal. You don't get it exactly the way you want it to look, or exactly the same way I got it looking. It's not a huge deal. All right, just trimming it up a little, trying to make it look more realistic. Let me see something. I don't think I need this part, so I'm going to get rid of it. Okay. So, I'm just playing around with a little... I want it to look a little... its own thing. And the point is just have fun with this, you know? Okay. 
See? I don't know if it 100% looks like a tail, but I think it'll look really good on our turkey. So now that that's done, we're going to go back, and now that the glue's heated up, we're going to add glue. Oops. I mean to pull that off. Sorry. To our turkey head and body. So, the next step is we're going to add the tail. We'll do the googly eyes last. So, we're going to take this. Sorry, y'all. My. Yeah, that should be plenty big enough. My, tur my turkey's rolling all over the place. It wants to be in camera. <laughs> we're going to take how we made the tail, and we're just going to glue it together. There we go. And then we're going to take it and we're going to add it to the turkey that we made. See, it's already looking like a turkey. Now, if you don't have the burlap leaves, you can always use paper. That would work too. So, next we're going to move on and make the eyes. Alright y'all, so we're going to do some eyes. And I thought to do some big green googly eyes. I thought that would be really cute on him. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to glue an eye on each side of his head. Hold on, y'all. I dropped an eye. Found it. All right, so we're going to glue on each side of his head the big green eyeball. And there's what I tried to look like so far. I think it came out looking pretty cute. <laughs> Oops. I'm dropping him. All right, so... The next step is to take your green wood you made and you're going to glue him on there so he stays because we're not doing legs or anything. We're just going to, give me a second, we're just going to attach him to it. Look how simple that is and it come out looking so cute anybody would be happy to have this as a decoration for Thanksgiving or just fall period now what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna show you a few things you can do extra that I did not put in it just to show you some other stuff you can take some leaf fall leaves or floral or a pumpkin. I'm going to pick the pumpkin because I think this is a really cute pumpkin. I don't know where I got it from. I literally just found it in my house. So, And I'm going to glue it on there just, you know, for a little extra. You got a pumpkin sitting next to him. Makes it a little bit more fall. And literally that's all you have to do to make this cute little fall Thanksgiving decor piece. Alright y'all, that's it for today's video. I enjoyed making this cute little pumpkin. I mean, well, I guess it is a pumpkin. This cute little turkey out of pumpkins. I think it came out looking amazing. I am super happy with it. I hope y'all enjoyed it. And if y'all did, please, please, please like, share, subscribe, and comment down below. Because it does help my channel grow. And I will see y'all next time. Bye!